My name is Keith Nitka, and I'm proud to be the Battleship Operations Manager on board Battleship Wisconsin here at Nauticus. And I want to thank you for joining me today on another Whiskey Wednesday virtual adventure. If you remember from a few Whiskey Wednesday episodes uh, ago where I had showcased the City at Sea portion of the ship, something along those lines that I wanted to talk about today is sailor art. So like, uh, like in some cities, Norfolk has one, the Chrysler Museum is an art museum, Battleship Wisconsin is also in its own form an art museum, uh, and it houses a collection of art that was painted by sailors and Marines on board the ship uh, throughout their service and time. We're here on the third floor of Nauticus where we have some of the stuff that's hard to get to and some of the stuff that, uh, that you can't get to anymore uh, to, to show here. So that's why, that's why we're up here on the third floor of Nauticus in these windows. So you can see behind me, uh, there's a lot of different pieces of uh, artwork that I'm going to talk about a little bit as we, uh, as we go along. So walk with me here and I will, uh, I'll point out some of this art to you. So here in this first one, you see Yosemite Sam and Bugs Bunny. And this can be found down in uh, fire room number three. So you see there, uh, Bugs Bunny says it's his turn to light the fires in the boiler and Yosemite Sam there is telling him that he's going to light him up in a minute. So there you can see on Bugs Bunny the holster that he's wearing. It has an Eola pile uh, painted onto it, which is also known as Hero's Engine. That is the rating symbol for the boiler technician. And what he has in the holster is one of the burner barrels. What we do with those is it has a nozzle uh, it has a nozzle in the tip and they get uh, put into the boiler itself. So if I want to make the ship go faster, I put in one of those uh, burners with a bigger nozzle, injects more fuel to, uh, to make more steam. If I want to go slower, of course, I would replace the bigger nozzle with the smaller nozzle. Uh, and then, of course, with uh, Yosemite Sam on his holster, you'll see it has EBO3, which is the... Uh, fire room number three, and he also has a burner barrel in his uh, holster. The picture, the American flag with the eagle on top, that can be found in engine room number four. Uh, that is actually painted on the back side of the bulletin board uh, for the crew to use down in engine room number four. So you can see there on, the, uh, on that banner uh, that's being held by the American eagle, EM04. That is engine room number four. So this is one of those pieces of art that uh, we've actually lost track of and can't find it. So it is a skull on a piece of equipment that is down in the bowels of one of the engineering spaces. When, uh, when Hampton Rose Naval Museum first had custody or stewardship of the ship, they went through a few spaces. They took this photograph and then the people that were around at the time when the photograph was taken they forgot where the photograph was taken. So this is somewhere in the bowels of the engineering spaces, but no one's really sure where it is. But you see there, skull and crossbones, never say die, Arabian Gulf, August 19, or August 90 to March 91. Uh, and it looks like uh, a sailor named Fred had, uh, had done the artwork, but again, we have no information on it. If, uh, if anybody knows where, that, where we can find that, of course, please, uh, please let me know. Uh, email me, call me, leave a comment in the uh, comment section below, and we'll go take a look. So the ship's crest is well-defined throughout the ship for different things, and you'll see that in some of the artwork. This one in particular is, it's, you can see there in the banner, it says engineering. This artwork is located on the engineering office door, which is on the second deck port side of the ship. You can see there around the crest painted on the door are the different rating symbols for those divisions in the engineering department. Boiler technician there at the top, uh, electrician's mate, mate uh, machinist mate, uh, D seaman, uh, interior communications, that's, those are all engineering rates. Another crest that you can see on the ship that was turned into sailor art for a department is here uh, below the Ford for Freedom banner, it has EM02 printed on it. This is found on the bulkhead just outside of the hatch that leads down to engine room number two. So you can see there 
in the shield in the center where it normally has the six stars with the ship's helm and the uh, red, white, and blue crest. That has been replaced with the Machinist Mate's rating symbol. This is a neat piece of artwork here, the, uh, the red convertible. This actually dates back to the 1950s when the ship was brought back into service in the 1950s. Maybelline is the name of a Chuck Berry song. It talks about a, a hot rod car in the song. This is found on one of the pieces of equipment down in engine room number one. Above that, on the bulkhead, is this symbol here. Uh, this sailor art here says EMO1 across the top and underneath pride and teamwork go a long way. So you have number one because it's engine room number one. You have the, uh, the screw or the propeller is what that symbol is. And that is found just above Maybelline in the bulkhead. Uh, pride and teamwork go a long way. That is a, uh, that's also a big thing with the engineers down below. In this one here uh, for uh, engine room number three, you'll see pride and professionalism on either side, the, uh, the ship screw in the middle on uh, over 32 knots underneath it. So our maximum speed of the ship is 32 knots. And, and where we're going to get that speed from is the uh, machinist makes that work down in engine room numbers one, two, three, and four. And of course, underneath that, you see printed or signed out, ain't nothing but a thang. Typical Navy sailors in the, uh, in the late 80s, early 90s. Uh, it's a t from TV, I believe, if I remember correctly. It's been a long time. So I, I can't place where, but I, I know it, and I'm sure I've said it at least once or twice. This is another neat one. It's not along the, uh, the paths, and it's got actually nothing to do with engineering like a lot of the, the artwork does. It says across the top, United States Navy, and then underneath it, cruise missile. And then through the center, there's tomahawk. Uh, and then you can actually see uh, tomahawk uh, painted in the center of that, uh, of that artwork. That can be found uh, in one of the berthing spaces on the second deck, starboard side. It's a smaller berthing compartment, and the sailors that lived in that berthing compartment, they all worked on the Tomahawk missiles on board Battleship Wisconsin. In this piece of artwork, it actually looks to me like it was never completed. If you know where you're looking for it, and it's not on any of the, uh, the open areas of the ship. But where it can be found is in the gun director, spot two. I believe it's on the O2 level inside one of the offices. What it is, of course, there's a banner at the top, a banner at the bottom, and they're blank, so that leads me to believe that it's unfinished. In the center is a pair of crossed guns, and that is the rating symbol for the gunner's mates, and that is overlain. You're looking at the business end of one of the turrets. So, of course, this is in spot two, and spot two is a gun director for uh, the 16 inch guns. So you see this blonde lady here, uh, she's referred to as Boiler Room Betty. She can be seen on a guided tour, the, uh, the Life in the Engine Room tour. She is painted on uh, the deaerating feed tank or DFT in, in, in fire room number one. Uh, so you can see there in her, on her uniform, she has the hero's engine. So she is a boiler technician. She has three chevrons underneath that, uh, that rating badge. So she's a first class petty officer. And uh, when you come take the, uh, the life in the engine room tour, we can tell you a little bit more about Boiler Room Betty. In this artwork here, uh, Courage, Pride, and Loyalty, again, it goes a long way. Uh, it was painted in 1990 by a sailor. This can also be found in engine room number one. It's around the corner from uh, the other uh, Pride and Teamwork sailor art that's up in uh, the overhead bulkhead of engine room number one. So that is a small portion, a very small portion of some of the sailor art that can be found on board the ship. Uh, in our next episode, when we do part two of sailor art, we're actually going to go and visit well, some of this art, but also some of the stuff that's not here on the bulkhead or on the wall here on the third floor of Nauticus. We'll actually see uh, live in person there on the ship itself. But I want to thank you for joining me today on this Whiskey Wednesday virtual adventure. And as always, please come visit us on the ship. You can see this stuff uh, yourself uh, when you come here. And uh, there's always staff that's uh, very eager and willing and ready to speak to you about my ship, Battleship Wisconsin. So thank you for joining me today and have a, have a fantastic day.